Royal Navy, the United States Navy. The decision by Al Jazeera to broadcast such material is deplorable and we call on them to desist from future broadcasts of such a nature. And in a separate action, they captured a senior. As darkness fell on Tuesday, UK forces saw the first signs of overt resistance to the regime's grip in Basra. Sporadic small arms fire was reported in one area of the city and regime paramilitaries started firing mortars and artillery at their own people. UK artillery responded by destroying these regime artillery and mortar positions. The Ba'ath Party command element was also effectively targeted in the early hours of Wednesday morning. It's estimated it will cost around $1 billion to get the oil infrastructure to allow the field to yield its capacity of about 1.8 million barrels a day. And we expect that Iraq will be exporting oil within three months as part of the oil for food program. Um, is always difficult to judge is the degree to which uh, the, the view of the people, if you like, I'm not convinced that um, there is what you um, and I would perhaps call a division moving anywhere. I think there are, there are inevitable, it's very fluid. I mean, I describe it as, as probably the classic ambiguous battle space, but I sense that um, you know, what we're seeing is people trying to, um, uh, to surrender desert or whatever, realizing what's going on with the Ba'ath Party and uh, the others who are trying to apply their motivation and trying to avoid them. It's that um, they are finding it uh, exceedingly difficult to maintain uh, communication amongst themselves and thereby exercise command. I work at the operational level of war, so tactical detail that happened only uh, hours ago is not something that falls on my plate. I can give you the general generality, which is what I've given you, but um, I don't do detail of that sort. 20 people. Right, OK. Um, First of all, um, it is uh, by no means clear, and there's quite an extensive investigation going on to, uh, to see um, what was the cause of that. Secondly, as you know well, because I've explained it to you, we go to enormous lengths to avoid civilian casualties. Any deaths in civilian communities in war are regrettable. There is no doubt about that. Uh, conducted detailed questioning, so we as yet have no insight from that source. Thank you very much.